All right, so I'm here at Majestic Mirage, which, um, you know, been to a few resorts, and I gotta say, this is tops for many reasons. Um, where do I start? First of all, you just look around. These palm trees, the grounds, the groundskeeping, you know, the weather. Well, the weather has nothing to do with them, but uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't hurt, I'll tell you what. Uh, one big piece of advice I would say, and we learned the hard way, is, uh, you know, never leave the campus. Don't leave the campus, because uh, there's so much to do here. One of many bars, that's Julio over there. He's our favorite bartender, although there's a lot of great bartenders here. He's not the only one, you know. Plenty of bars here and whatnot. Uh, my wife there, she's enjoying a drink. She's enjoying her time with Julio. He's at the bar in the middle of the campus here, between the uh, the two sections of the resort. We got uh, down there, we got building two, which is uh, the one of the two buildings. Building one before it are the two family sections, and the rest, three and four. And the other side, we got eight, uh, seven, six, five. And they're, uh, they're all adults only, except for one and two, the family section. And down there is uh, back there, along that pool over there, there's a, there's a pool bar there. That's where we met Julio, our favorite bartender, and uh, enjoyed ourselves there. Swim up room, can't beat that. I'll, uh, I'll be showing that a little bit later and whatnot. Uh, but I gotta say, yeah, getting off campus is not a good idea, only because there's plenty to do here, especially if you wanna relax. And uh, that's certainly what we came here for. We had our, uh, like to say, a mental enema. Apologies for those who find that a little bit uh, too grotesque or whatever, but really, this is the place to do it. This is the place to relax. The staff here, the staff, the staff, the staff. You cannot beat the staff here. Um, incredibly caring, incredibly genuine. You know, you might see somebody at another resort where they're, uh, they're talking to you and they're giving you a smile and you see them around the corner and maybe they don't see you and the smile's gone, they're back to being themselves. Here, I've seen numerous staff who are dancing, singing when they see us and then they, they turn the corner and they're still dancing and singing even though there's nobody within sight. So it's genuine happiness here. I think um, because of the Caliber Resort, I think uh, they really, uh, they really, they really hold on to uh, the fact that they're working in a great place like this, and uh, you know they love it. Um, the Caliber of people here that stay here, I think, um, perhaps is one of the reasons why uh, you know it's a good place to work. Having said that, we've witnessed a few people and uh, a few attitudes that aren't the best, but uh, all it takes here is a little bit of respect that you give and they will give it right back. And by that, I mean, you notice everybody at any resort, they have their name tags. And sure, maybe the language barrier may be a little bit of a problem to you. But if you, to make the effort to just try a few words in Spanish and learn how to pronounce their name properly. Like there's a gentleman over here, his name is uh, Jesus Mejia. Now, if you look at his name tag, you might say that's Jesus Mejia. Don't make the mistake of saying it that way. Ask, how do I properly pronounce your name? And just that interaction there and that effort to respect them will go a heck of a long way. People talk about tipping, 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 tipping. You know, you gotta tip, you gotta tip. Well, I'll tell you what. Right behind me over here, the building right there, which is, by the way, behind that is the ocean. That's the uh, Seaside Restaurant, a great place for breakfast. And uh, the omelet counter there is a guy, LeBron, and uh, Every morning, I was saying hi to him, talking to him, and I, you know, ask for my omelet in the best Spanish I could. It's not that great, guaranteed, but uh, at least I made the effort. And he would smile and laugh and go, oh, "Yes, my friend." And we'd have a little banter back and forth while I made my omelet, and then I'd be on my way. And it wasn't until the fourth morning that I finally gave him a tip. But he was being friendly to me regardless of whether I tipped or not. And I witnessed a gentleman, let's say, and using the term loosely rudely asked or very abruptly asked like give me an omelet ham cheese onion and then just kind of stare off into space waiting for it to be done and just took it without saying much thank you but he did tip him i'll tell you what lebron wasn't really that enthused with his interaction with them and i mean he smiled and he nodded towards him but it was very different to our interaction i didn't tip him i mean i did eventually but i didn't tip him so that to me says a lot about the staff here. That's one example of what I've seen time and time and time again here, is there is not this absolute necessity to tip and then you won't get service. We are getting served, we are getting treated well, we're interacting with, with staff. I'm trying my best. You know what, we all got phones, right? You've all got Google, there's free Wi-Fi here. Why not open up the, the English to Spanish translation, type in what you wanna say, and then read it off in Spanish the best you can, and they will, there's my son, and they will appreciate the effort at the very least. You don't have to be perfect in your Spanish, but an effort will go a long way. 
And so that's that's how I think it should be done. That's how I noticed, uh, you know, the, the better service, the better, more fun. So, um, yeah, I'm being told right now I'm going too long and whatnot. So I got to keep this short for now. Short for now. <laughs> I'm already over five minutes. But that's what I wanted to say. A few things right there real quick because we're enjoying ourselves so much. I had to say something. So, uh, you know, I'll be back and I'll be talking about a few more things, maybe a room tour and whatnot. Uh, but again, don't go off campus.